Hi there, good morning. Welcome to We Are The Church, a ministry of daily encouragement from the First United Methodist Church in Orange, California. My name is Pastor Bill Johnson. I'm really glad to be with you today. Thanks for taking these moments to get our day started off right. And speaking of which, let's roll the music and let's get this moment started. lectionary reading for this day in the Christian year is from the 16th chapter of the Gospel of John, verses 25 to 31. These are uh, to set the scene among the last words that Jesus spoke to his disciples before his crucifixion. He would move from here in the Gospel of John into a time of prayer on behalf of the disciples, and then he would be arrested and handed over to the authorities. So this is what Jesus told the disciples. I have said these things to you in figures of speech, but the hour is coming when I will no longer speak to you in figures. I will tell you plainly of the Father, and on that day you will ask in my name. I do not say to you that I will ask the Father on your behalf, for the Father himself loves you, and because you have loved me and have believed that I came from God. I came from the Father, and I have come into the world. Again, I am leaving the world, and I am going to the Father. And his disciples said, Yes, now you are speaking plainly and not in any figure of speech. Now we know that you know all things and do not need to have anyone question you. And by this, we believe that you came from God. And Jesus answered them, Do you now believe? The hour is coming. Indeed, it has come when you will be scattered, each one to his own home, and you will leave me alone. And yet I am not alone because the Father is with me. I have said this to you so that you, in me you may have peace. In the world you face persecution, but take courage. I have conquered the world. What a strange mix of love and foreboding in these last words of Jesus. He's offering them peace. He's reassuring them of peace. He's reassuring them that he loves them. He's reassuring them that the Father loves them because they love Jesus. He's reassuring them that even though he's no longer going to be with them, they will be able to make their needs known to God and the Father will love them and bless them. The one whom Jesus calls Abba is now the father of the church as well. He's our Abba. And so even though Jesus won't be with them anymore, and even though for a moment they will be scattered, they will continue to have peace. The chips are down, circumstances are turning dark, but they have peace. And Jesus draws a very clear distinction here. In the world you will have persecution, but take heart because I have conquered the world. So as long as we stay in Christ, through prayer, through communion, through obeying his teachings and his word, through <clears throat> living in community with God, as long as we stay in Christ, we will have peace. The circumstances of our life do not determine the measure of the peace that we know. The fullness of Christ within us is what determines whether we know peace. And with that fullness of Christ in each of us, we can do anything. In fact, as Paul would say, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So on this day before Thanksgiving, I encourage you, I invite you, I celebrate with you that we are not sum of our surroundings or our circumstances. That the things that are happening in the world around us do not define who we are. We are defined by the presence of God, by the belief that we have in Christ Jesus, his son, and by the peace that Christ gives to us. Jesus is no longer asking God on our behalf. We have peace with God through Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God who gives us this powerful, glorious connection, and who sustains us in every circumstance through his love and grace. Let's pray. We do indeed, O oh Lord, thank you for the gift of your son, Jesus Christ, for revealing finally and fully that you have conquered the world, and you have conquered the world not through might or aggression or through destruction, but through love. So, O oh Lord, may this prevailing love of Christ 
which has conquered our hearts, continue to be spread throughout the world until all nations are at peace with one another and all kings will cast their crowns before your glorious throne. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a wonderful Wednesday. Get all the rest of that work and preparation done because tomorrow is a day of Thanksgiving and I hope for you a day of peace and joy. We'll have a special message for you tomorrow on Thanksgiving Day. And, uh, and in the meantime, just have a wonderful day today. Remember to wash your hands. Remember to read a psalm. And remember to tell somebody that you love them today. I'll talk to you soon.